Well, thanks so much for clicking on the video here at CoinLocal6.com. High pressure dominating out over the Pacific, and that allows the rain to go across the ocean and then kind of drop down over the top of us. Over the next 36 hours, though, I believe the main focus is north of Vancouver. It'll be, uh, say, up around Seattle and Vancouver, B.C. That's where most of the action will be. And then we do have this main line of rain roll across us. After that, though, watching for a pattern change. That's what we're doing. Some of our forecasting tools suggesting we could get a cold blast out of Alaska as we get into this coming weekend. So more on that as we go through the week. Right now, it's all on paper anyway, so we'll see what happens. Here's what's going on as we make our way. Monday night, you know, we saw the rain kind of taper off from west to east. We switched to a drizzle mode. Then as we got into Tuesday morning, here's what I expect. Wet along the coast, wet north of Portland, and east of Portland. In the metro area, well, we'll probably have some showers come and go. South in the Willamette Valley, it looks like you're mainly rain shadowed and you have a mostly dry day. So location is going to play a big part in how your Tuesday turns out. Now, morning lows, 30s east of the mountains and mid-40s west of the Cascade. So it's a mild one. Uh, we'll see high temperatures in the 40s and 50s along the coast and some rain will be likely. Kelso, I think it's a wet day for you and 51. Less rain as you go through McMinnville, even less for Salem and Albany and Corvallis. And temperatures are warmer in the low to mid 50s. And speaking of 50s, we've got them in central and eastern Oregon. Now, LeGrand, you're in the 40s in Baker City, too, but central parts of the state, mid 50s tomorrow, with just isolated rain showers. Most of the action is blocked by the Cascades. And it will be rain action in the Cascades because it's snow levels up at 7,500 feet as we go through the day, mid 40s at government camp. Through the gorge, showers are possible, especially on the west end. Otherwise, we'll see some breezy west winds kicking in as we go through the day. So, scattered showers off and on in the metro area seems like the best way to couch tomorrow's forecast. It'll be a mild day into the mid 50s before everything is done. And here's your seven day forecast. We're watching for the cool air on Saturday, a high of 44, Sunday, 41, and Monday, a high of 42. And we'd see below freezing temperatures here during the overnight hours. We'll have to keep an eye on the situation to see how that cold does on its way to us and how much moisture might come with it. Thanks for checking your forecast right here at coinlocal6.com.